In December 2019, the city of Wuhan in Hubei province, China's seventh largest city, became the center of a pneumonia outbreak of unknown cause. The Chinese health authorities conducted an immediate investigation to identify and control its spread by isolating suspected infected patients, closely monitoring their contacts, and obtained detailed clinical data. Investigations found that it was caused by a new novel strain of a virus known as the coronavirus that had not been previously identified in humans and since named COVID-19. In this video, we'll take a quick look at what is currently known about the virus and preventive actions to stay healthy. Keep in mind that this is a new virus and what's known about the virus now might change in the future. Coronaviruses are a group of related viruses that cause diseases in birds and mammals, including humans. They consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope with protein spikes. This gives it the appearance of a crown. A crown in Latin is called corona, and that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses, such as the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS, and the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome MERS, that causes respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are infectious diseases transmitted from animals to humans. Common signs of infection include fever, cough, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties which manifest between 2 to 14 days after exposure. In more severe cases, the infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. Person-to-person -person transmission has been established between people who are in close contact with one another, within 2 meters or 6 feet. When infected respiratory droplets produced via coughing, sneezing, and talking comes in contact with their eyes, nose, or mouth, while indirect transmission occurs when the hands, eyes, nose, or mouth come in contact with contaminated surfaces, objects, or materials. As of 17th of March 2020, the virus has spread to 155 countries, causing over 7,167 deaths. However, over 79,731 people have recovered from the illness. The outbreak now constitutes a global health emergency, as the WHO declared the crisis a pandemic on the 11th of March 2020, raising alarm over the spread and severity of the disease. Early information out of China, where the outbreak first started, shows that some people are at higher risk of getting very sick from this illness. They include older adults, those who are within the ages of 60 and above, and those with underlying health conditions such as heart, lung, asthma, and kidney diseases because of low immunity, that is, the ability of the body to fight off infections. Currently, no specific treatment or vaccine has been found to cure the disease. People who get sick are managed with supportive measures to relieve symptoms. For severe cases, there may be additional options for treatment, including research drugs and therapeutics. We can protect ourselves from getting infected by observing these safety measures. When coughing or sneezing, cover your nose and mouth with a medical mask, a tissue, or a flexed elbow. Always wash your hands afterwards. A mask should cover your nose, mouth, and chin with the colored side facing outwards. The thin metal should press against the bridge of your nose gently. When disposing of, take off using the straps and don't touch the inner surface. Also, ensure tissues are disposed of in the trash after use. Avoid close contact with anyone who is unwell. Stay at least 2 meters or 6 feet away. Avoid being coughed on or sneezed on. Ensure the proper use of masks and personal protective equipment, which include gloves, gowns or overalls, goggles and glasses, face mask, head covers and shoe covers, especially in healthcare settings or when taking care of an ill person. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. Frequently touched objects include phones, computers, cards, keys, glasses, etc. Examples of frequently touched surfaces are door handles, desks, tables, elevator buttons, ATM keypads, handrails, etc. When cleaning, ensure you add disinfectants to cleaning supplies, for example, JIC, Hypo, etc. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water. 
You may use alcohol-based sanitizers in the absence of soap and water, but ensure you wash your hands properly with soap and water afterwards. Do you know the moments for hand washing? Before and after touching an unwell person. Before cooking or eating. After visiting the restroom. After touching the surroundings of an unwell person. When you give someone a handshake. After handling cash and touching public surfaces. In order to prevent transmission from animals, avoid unnecessary contact with animals. Wash hands with soap and water after contact with animals. Ensure that all animal products are cooked thoroughly before consumption. Store foodstuffs in covered containers. Ensure proper disposal of carcasses. Maintain a clean environment. It is important to stay at home if feeling unwell. But if you have a fever, which is higher body temperature greater than 38 degrees Celsius, a cough, difficulty breathing, or a chest pain, please seek medical care early. In summary, coronaviruses are zoonotic, meaning they are transmitted between animals and people and spread from person to person in close proximity, similar to other respiratory illnesses such as the flu. Common symptoms include fever, cough, shortness of breath, sore throats, runny nose, and chest pain. As of 17th of March 2020, the virus had spread to 155 countries. Those who are at higher risk of this disease are people with underlying health problems and the elderly due to their low immunity. You can prevent yourself from being infected by keeping a safe social distance or avoiding crowded places, adopting proper hygiene, and the use of a face mask. Lastly, it is important that you speak with a medical doctor if you feel any of the aforementioned symptoms.